Welcome to uh, Nerds and Noise uh, podcast. This is our video section. My name is SC. Here we have Kevin, Uriah, Mariah, Kathleen, Peter. Uh, and today we are going over. Uh, we just watched Titans episode one. Everybody's really excited about what we witnessed. Uh, full disclosure: I wanted it to really like suck because I love bad movies. So I kind of wanted to go in on it, uh, but. You must have been thrilled. I, <laughs> it was dark and it was brooding. It was very DC. Uh, as a show, it wasn't you know bad per se. It wasn't uh, obviously the expectation of watching a Titans show. You want a little more Titans, but I understand it's a slow burn. So I can watch the thirteen episode expecting by episode thirteen that it's going to be that the payoff has to be astronomical. <laughs> Let's for, <laughs> no, like, uh, all the storylines are not as interesting. I think we all agreed. Right now, there's, uh, you know, spoiler free, there's two big storylines. But they're technically all one because they'll connect. But there's a storyline with. <clears throat> the, the, following the characters, uh, probably the most um, engaging is, uh, is Starfire. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so not what I expected. It's very out there and. Uh, what's a good word to describe Starfire's? <laughs> very personality. I feel like <laughs> she, like Vin Diesel should be she should be like I think like triple X. Maybe it was like the coat because of the nightclub. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> I, I just have to think of like a born thing going on. Yeah, like she, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, definitely. Uh, the Dick Grayson Raven or Rachel. Um, <laughs> storyline is well, apparently uh, that is an alias she uses. So to give her, I don't know why they don't just make her name Raven. Raven. I'm pretty Raven. sure she'll be called Raven when she becomes even she, her even her hoodie has a little uh the little uh, Roy. yeah the Roy Roy action <laughs> yeah crows yeah it was it crowsby crowsby no, crowsby crowsby yes there you go yeah Vegeta crowsby is that Nicholas Cage crowsby Okay. <laughs> It'll be all the way back here. That's yeah, horrible. <laughs> Just it's like Connie. I have hair. I swear <laughs> that I have hair. <laughs> Nicholas Cage Just as hiding. Raven is. Hey, he was Superman in the Teen Titans Go. Um, but yeah, he's gonna be, be Spider Man yeah, War too. He's gonna be all the heroes. <laughs> yeah, Nicholas Cage is living his best life. He didn't get to be Superman <laughs> in uh in that Tim Burton Superman movie, but <laughs> he's been Superman. He's about to be Spider Man. He was a uh, uh, kick-ass. He was um, big, oh, yeah. big daddy. Big daddy. Yeah. So yeah, big daddy was great. <laughs> he was. That and was. He was, the, he was the Wicker West. Man. <laughs> <laughs> How to get burned? He was the Rock. <laughs> <laughs> the Rock's <laughs> actually one of the redeemable guys. Michael Bay oh, movies. Yeah. Yes. Name Michael Bay's top five movies. With four of them are the Rock. Cool. <laughs> well, Bad Boys Two, The Rock, and then a. Uh, um, was face off Michael Bay? <laughs> <laughs> it should have been. This should have been. Every time when, when they switch faces, they explode and then they have to find the faces. Yeah, there you go. It's, just, it's one of those big names that Michael Bay goes under. It's like when uh, Garth Brooks did Chris Gaines. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever directed Face Off was the Chris Gaines of. Uh, you know, Chris Gaines directed this episode of Titans. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, oh yeah, Titans, but Titans. <laughs> <laughs> Titans. Someone, yeah. Um. So yeah, what are you? Uh, uh, do you guys think you would uh, want to tune in for episode two? Did you guys have enough? Was there enough for you? I mean, we I'll, have to. You I'll really do it yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah like, like, it's not fair I'll do to just for do the one podcast, show. But I don't know if I would have done it normally. Yeah, yeah. Okay. ding, ding, ding. That's, yeah. yeah I, I don't feel like a, a strong urge to see episode two after seeing episode two. And it's, I didn't hate it. It was just like, well, that's there. And I've got a lot of stuff I need to watch. With so. that, that being agree. DC's like, launch thing, they're like, there's no way. There's no way. There is no way that they could not... Especially after seeing how, you see the pictures of how Dub and Hawk look. Like, the costumes are all, like, spot on. But um, they don't have our faith with all the stuff they've been DC doing. Has, They're going a lot of faith. Marvel, like, we stuck with Daredevil. There's Dare so Devils, much like, hate for DC. Out. That's where this is, like, this coming is from. Come on, let's just watch it and see what happens. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm forget. <laughs> yeah, we're saying the real reasons why it's hard is because DC has hurt us a lot. Uh, wounded us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, they haven't keep, healed yet. We keep so going just, back. Yeah. We don't listen to our girlfriends. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's definitely not. Like, <laughs> it's definitely not DC uh, bash day because uh, they've done a lot of good things uh, as well. But with it, like this is, I feel like their entire, like this was a big thing. Like their, their yeah. entire uh, web launch was 
like hinging on Titans guy. Titans is happening. Um, so... But couldn't they have just brought back the 2000 Titans and more people would have watched it in the first place? Yeah. They would have... <laughs> that's, that's true. I, I'm just saying... I think one of the reasons why um, it does to me a little bit is because everything is so different. And I do like... I like... I, I, I do like fresh takes. I, mean, I can appreciate them at least trying. Because they could have gone the easy route. Like, here's Teen Titans. Or here's everything that you already know and love. And... Uh, you just make it a little bit better. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, Mackie I think they're on the right, right. track. Yeah. This one, but it just there wasn't a lot of plot in this episode. No. There was a lot of really. I mean, it was well shot. Yeah. It was, it was good cinematography, good. but very dark. I mean, there were some scenes that there were, there was an action scene that was just sound, like you couldn't see it. <laughs> I, really, I really wish you but, get like two minutes of Beast Boy, and you know he's going to be the comic relief. But it was like here's two minutes of Beast Boy at the end. You're like. Yeah, the I, didn't, I, didn't, that. I didn't appreciate the throwing in. I'm story. hoping that yeah, whenever, whenever they all get together, it's kind of like a, you know, a tick -tick, how long it took for us to get to, to the Defenders, which, you know, the Defenders was, was okay. Like, it wasn't, uh, it's one of those Dude, things Luke that, Cage was Luke awesome Cage was, episode yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair point. It's also true, yeah. Like, yeah, the Netflix shows, yeah, <laughs> they definitely have a big, uh, they hit it off with a bang. This, this got me, I want to give it like two, three more episodes to kind of see where... It is that they're going. I assume the big thing about this, you know, it's not a spoiler from the, the, the trailers, you can tell that it's Raven and understanding her powers. Which is a kind of, I guess, after seeing Raven be so kind of like, you know, kind of stone faced and just sort of a, a not really an emotion based character for so long on the multiple shows and even movies that she showed up in, uh, anime wise, that it's kind of cool to see her I mean, kind of like struggling with their powers and. So, I guess when we get to that, you know, that Avengers shot of all the heroes together and hopefully in costume by, you know, the third episode, they'd be like, it was worth the ride, it was worth all the death and blood and <laughs> angst and, and everything. And ang angry Robin Battering throws and, uh, that we had to get through to get here. Yeah, I thought it was interesting that it's two origin stories here for women that are really, they're trying to find out their origin story. Instead yeah. of like, you know, this is how she became Raven. It's like she's always been this person, but she doesn't know what the hell's going on. And yeah, and, well, and you got two two women who come from like tragic uh, backstory, so that's a would be a very interesting thing to explore. And they got to be careful and very DC like. See, you got the double so it's very it's very dark. Yeah, dark. Going yeah. To dark and... What's this? What's mean? <laughs> oh, okay. She's in high school. She okay, I, I didn't know if I missed her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Wait, she's what she's was what was that rag that they? <laughs> 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 yeah. Too much. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's not. This is not Teen Titans because Robin is supposedly like in his maybe late twenties, early thirties. He acts like Don Draper. He acts like he's in his late forties. He dresses he's like Don Draper. He's like a yeah, he's a He just needs to drink and smoke and everything, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then I'll be I'll be totally on board. He's, he's, like, he's, he's, he's a weathered beat cop like in a noir like yeah. crime story, and meanwhile, he's he's, Beast Boy is in this yeah this uh, very lighthearted whatever story. <laughs> Ra Raven's in a, in a horror film, and Starfire is in like a an espionage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she's in a Chris yeah, Evans movie. Exactly. She wakes up in a furry coat and doesn't remember what happens. Goes to a nightclub in Austria. Yeah. This is Triple X, and you it know is. it. <laughs> So yeah, I, so whenever they all get together, how is it going to, uh, so maybe that will make it really interesting, how is this going to work, because all these people are clearly in, like, different, you know, they have, but that's kind of cool how yeah, they all have their own uh, lives. So far, I would say Robin's is the least interesting, um, just that's, because, that's cool. I'm sad yeah. because Batman was, but he's got yeah. daddy issues. He's got yeah. daddy issues. <laughs> he's got double daddy he, issues. Yeah. Like, these are pumpkin spice of Titans. <laughs> my, my new dad is a much better trapeze artist than my old dad was. Oh! Dang, but, uh, <laughs> so they, it was really weird. They left out the uh, like the other mainstay of like dark and broody. Cyborg's not there. The whole um, it would have been so dark and broody. <laughs> yeah. and Cyborg was also there and sad because he was just sad in Justice League. I was yes. once a normal teen and now I'm broken <laughs> I think I think no they gave him the whole Justice League like. like a vacation for a while. To be yes. a robot man who's in Doom Patrol. I know. Yeah. So yeah, so Cyborg will exist in Doom Patrol, and there's an episode about in this series titled The Doom Patrol. Crossover. And Beast Boy was part of Doom Patrol? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he was uh, he was Elastic Last of Girls not related to the Incredibles character, but DC <laughs> made her first. Um, she was Elastic Girl's adopted son. 
like the the dude the the red and white outfit they're using on the yeah. jacket that's actually off of his red and white outfit in the comics which is a doom patrol uniform in the teen titans cartoon they made him purple and green uh, purple and black because it works better with his skin tone yeah. so they made all the row uh, they made all the doom patrol all wearing purple and black to match i thought that was nice to oh watch. sweet i did, did not know <laughs> I bet they're gonna be wearing all black in the TV show. Oh man! Oh, yeah. Yeah. From what we see, he's wearing a red and white jacket, but I don't know. I don't know if he has anything to do with the, the Doom Patrol. It's just gonna be a weird yeah. coincidence. Well, there, there, there have been pictures released from the Doom Patrol like filming, and they all look actually insanely. Like, yeah, they look. They, they look like their character. Cool. Accurate, yeah. yeah, and so I'm hoping that you know, I hope all the DC's live action shows. I guess I guess they're gonna have their own, their, their 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 shared universe on their own. You know, the DC okay. streaming universe. <laughs> exactly. And this has nothing to do with the Arrowverse, right? Nothing this to do with like, the Arrowverse. This is totally different. Although, the producer is uh, the same one, so maybe... They, and it's all about alternate worlds in the Arrowverse, so... If maybe. they found a way... You know, and um, that'll bring us into... Um, we'll switch. Um, our next thing is Batwoman and CW shows. Um, yes. <laughs> yes. I'm excited. So no, she man. looks like Batwoman from that yes. image. Yeah. That she is, like she does look like Batwoman. For all the hate that Ruby Rose was receiving for not I'm being against gay enough. And no, uh, your eyes get blown. Oh, no. I'm, I'm against their hair. Like, mm -hmm. the hair irritates me. I hate death red hair.